Continue to field questions for you, Similia. I have a student who's asking a good question about, do I have any tips slash tricks for studying biostats during dedicated, okay? Do I have any tips for maximizing your biostats specifically, okay? Any strategies for knocking out biostats on the real deal? And I have very fucking excellent advice right now. Okay, so before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So students asking if I have any tips slash tricks on tackling biostats during dedicated. And I said I have very fucking excellent advice here, which is that when I craft schedules for the overwhelming majority of students, okay, we can't overgeneralize, but for most students. I like to have their second to last day prior to the U.S. Milling, not the day before, the second to last day being a biostats day, okay? So you're going to memorize all the annoying formulae. You're going to make sure you've wrapped your head around biostats. I've had students ask about this notion of walking into the real deal and scribbling down, writing down all the formulae on the laminated sheet of paper. Bad fucking idea, okay? If your retention of the formulae is so tenuous that that's even a minute consideration on your end, you're not ready to sit the real deal. It's not some fucking undergrad biochem lecture exam that you're pulling an all-nighter for. It's the medical licensing exam, okay? So the second to last day, I want to be a biostats day. I've made an excellent biostats PDF. I'll link it in the comments below. The day before your exam, I've made clips here on the YouTube under the exam guidance playlist. I don't want to get too crazy tangential right now. It should be a pretty chill day overall. Another important point, uh, important point I want to make is that some students will ask about putting a biostats day prior to their NBMEs instead. Because if we want to maximize your scores on the NBME exams, right, shouldn't we put bio, like a designated biostats day first, right? And then that would increase your scores on 25 through 30. I, I've said do 20 through 30, but just as an example, why not maximize your scores on 25 through 30? Wouldn't that be nice? It would, but if it comes down to it and it's going to be one or the other, okay, I would rather max your scores out on the real deal than on the NBME exams. It's not to say we couldn't have a biostats day prior to the NBMEs and then another one right before the real deal. Sure, there's no problem with that. More biostats, great. But if it's gonna be one or the other, I like to put it two days before your real deal rather than, rather than before the NBME exams. Unfortunately, biostats, super fucking annoying and longitudinal in terms of the requirement uh, that it, in terms of the requirements for retention, okay. In other words, you need to slowly accumulate that potential energy, that foundation in biostats as you move through QBank over time, and then you're going to see more in the NBME exams. You're going to learn it slowly as you move through, okay. And then you're going to have that consolidated day two days before, and you go into your real deal. You can't just have a zero foundation in biostats and then instantly study it over two days and then be solid. You have to see lots of questions, as I just fucking said, over a longitudinal type of period. And that's what's going to maximize your scores going to the real deal. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.